Hello YouTube. I went to a business and you look at their letterhead real quick. I could snap fix that. Uh, there's a store called Tool Depot and they're kind of connected. Industrial Tools and Machinery. Okay. They have all kinds of uh, construction stuff, uh, tools, everything from drill bits, hammers, sledgehammers. They have the that high dollar Wilton sledgehammer with that flexi handle. It's got like the steel rods in it with the black rubber. Have you ever seen big tools like that? I mean, just some pretty big tools. I mean, it's pretty good pack store. I could not pass this up. I went there to get a hammer handle for a sledgehammer. So I'll grab that. This is like 12 bucks. I looked at some of the home supply places. They range from $9 for a junky one in one store to like $13 for another one. I didn't know where it was. This, I could snap a photo of this, is made in Missouri. House Handle Company, Cassville, Missouri. M.O. I'm sure that's Missouri. Uh, sledgehammer for 10 to 16 pound sledgehammer. Okay, we got that out of the way. So I was happy to get that. That's the reason I went to the store because I knew they had hammers and hammer handles for sure. I could not pass this up for $20 and some change. 40 ounce hammer. If I'm correct, that's two and a half pounds. I could not pass up a ball peen hammer this nice. I'll snap plenty of photos of it. I could not pass that up. Uh, still got the plastic on it. Of course, and the stickers, I'll take that all off. But made in the USA. I could not pass that up. I looked at some hammers. I've been wanting a big ball bean hammer. Now, they had one that was probably uh, three pounds, 48 ounce. That's way too heavy to be swinging. And it was way bigger looking than this. It was quite a bit bigger around. I could measure this. Uh, doing camera real quick. The head of this hammer is. Like an inch and three quarters. And across here is almost six inches. So the handle's probably 15 total from the head to the handle. That's 12 inch roll. But I don't want to make too long a video of this, but somebody may see it in a video, maybe me using it. Almost too good to use, but. I like finding stuff made in USA. It's getting to be rare. To me it is. I'm, you know, you get the big box stores and stuff. So when I seen this, I had to have it. It was like an impulse buy. But I'll use it. It's not going to go to waste. It's not going to lay in my toolbox and look brand new. It will get its wear and tear. So thanks for watching. I'll snap a few photos. And you can get a close-up look at it.